हेलो फ्रेंड्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर लेटेस्ट अपडेट सो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज कनेक्शन इंटरफेस इन जेडीबीसी सो कनेक्शन इज एन इंटरफेस एक्चुअली दिस कनेक्शन इज ए इंटरफेस व्हिच मेंटेन ए सेशन बिटवीन जावा एप्लीकेशन एंड डेटाबेस एक्चुअली दिस कनेक्शन इंटरफेस मेंटेन ए द सेशन बिटवीन जावा एप्लीकेशन एंड डेटाबेस एक्चुअली if you want to connect with a particular database we need to create the connection object then only we can interact with the database using connection interface we can establish a connection with the database by using this connection interface we can establish a connection with the database and uh, sql statements are executed and results are returned within the context of connection object basically suppose if you want to execute some sql statement in the database we should create the connection object by using connection object we can create the statement object using the statement object we can pass the sql statement and we can execute the sta uh, sql statement in the database so connection interface is mainly used to create the statement prepare statement callable statement and database metadata object by using this connection interface we can create the uh, statement object prepare statement object and callable statement objects so here like uh, i am showing the one example how we can create the connection object connection con equal to driver manager dot get connection using this driver manager we can uh, you, uh, uh, like uh, in the driver manager uh, class we have a get connection method is there so here we have to pass the url of the database username and password so here now we are creating the connection object using the connection object we can create the create statement object uh, i mean uh, statement object we are creating using the create statement object uh, create statement method so here like uh, statement uh, real set rs equal to statement dot execute query select star from user so here what we are doing is using the statement object uh, uh, we are calling the execute uh, execute query method so here we are passing the sql query so it will be uh, executing from database and it will give the result to the uh, java application and this uh, result will be stored in the real set object using connection object we can fetch the metadata of the database like uh, database name driver class name and database version so suppose if you want to know the what database you are using we can know using this connection object and what are the drivers we are using currently also we can know using this connection interface object and uh, the database version also we came to know that the connection interface provides many methods for transaction management like commit rollback set auto commit and uh, set transaction isolation so using this connection interface like in this connection interface we have like uh, multiple methods are there like uh, uh, commit rollback set auto commit set uh, uh, transaction isolation so now we are going to see the methods of the connection interface so the first method is create statement method this method is used to create a statement object which can be used to send the sql statement to the database actually this method is used to here if you see here create statement method so how we can create the set, uh, create statement object using the connection object so here we are creating the connection interface object and by using this connection uh, interface object we are creating the statement object so this method is used to create the statement object which can be used to send the sql statement to the database for example if you want to send the sql statement to the database we should create the this uh, using the create statement method we can create the statement object so next method is the prepare statement this method is used to create the prepare statement object uh, which can be used to send the parameterized sql statement to the database for example select star from user where username equal to question mark we are, that means that is a parameterized query if you want to uh, execute those type of uh, sql statement we can create the prepare statement object next is the callable statement uh, prepare call method this method is used to create the callable statement object which can be used to call the stored position of the database sometimes in our project we have to call the storage processor so to call the storage processor we can create the prepare call method so using the callable statement we can create the uh, uh, prepare call method so by using this prepare call method we can pass the storage position name here like uh, we can call the storage position using the callable statement so next method is the set auto commit uh, here is the boolean status it is used to set the commit status by default it is true if you want to like uh, in in our uh, project sometimes we have to set the set auto commit equal to true or false 
like if you want to commit the data we can commit using the true uh, we can pass here like we can commit the auto commit suppose if you don't want to commit to by default we can pass the false as the argument next method is the commit method it saves the changes which are committed permanently suppose if you are uh, like we are writing the one uh, sql statement like this only and whatever data like uh, suppose if you want to insert some data into the database so, so we can write the insert into something their da database table name and we can pass the variables so if you don't want to uh, if you call the commit method so those statements will be permanently committed into the database that means whatever data we are inserting into database using this commit method we can commit the data otherwise sometimes if you don't want to commit the previous change we can call the some rollback method it roll back the changes made since previously committed Pre so uh, like uh, sometimes transaction getting changed so that time we can call the rollback method to roll back the previously uh, um, committed changes then is the closed method this closed method uh, uh, close the connection and release the jdb resources immediately so actually uh, uh, sometimes we are creating the connection object right so actually this connection object we have to close uh, whenever we uh, completed all the transactions are like all the our required uh, statement so using this close method we can close that uh, uh, statement uh, connection object otherwise uh, it will create the unnecessary memory in the jdbc sorry in the jvm so that's what we can call the close method whenever the connection object is not required in our program so we can uh, connection dot close method we can close the connection so friends don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this